Welcome to Step in the College. I'm Koya Rivera, and on Step in the College, we say need nor we don't say that, we say need more knowledge, step into college. And what are we all about? We are all about preparing kids for college and for career. We talk a lot about what you wanna do in terms of your dreams in life. And what I tell you guys is whatever passion you have, whatever it is that you're really good at, find a way to step into some form of education on any level so that you're going towards your dreams. And today, I have one, are you a student? Yes, I'm a senior. At, and you're a senior at? Meredith College. And I have Aubrey with me. Okay. Aubrey Rhodes. And what is, what is your major? Uh, I'm majoring in fashion design. Fashion design. Mm -hmm. I meet a lot of students who are interested in going into design. And ironically, the dress that I'm wearing today was designed by Tanisha Nicole. And she's a design student at NC State University. Mm -hmm. The question I have for you, though, is when did you find out that passion word is just so important here on Step in the College. When did you find out she had a passion with this area? Um, it was started when I was really young. Um, like how young? Like four or five. I... Whoa, 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 wait, wait. You said four or five. <laughs> so, so there's some four or five year olds out there that literally have a passion for that. What would we look for in four or five year olds to say you might be geared towards the fashion industry? Um, well, I, I started sewing my doll clothes and sketching my paper doll clothes and stuff like that at that age. Wow. Um, it just continued as I got older. I got a sewing machine and started making my own clothes and realized that that's the direction I wanted to go to. So. Wow. And how do you know that you have skill? Because I know a lot of people that love fashion, but design is something totally different. What skill set does it take to be good at that? Um, you have to have, a, I guess, an eye for fashion, seeing what, what goes well together, um, you know, pairing fabrics and different textures and things like that. And also, it's something that's learned as well. Practice makes perfect, and the more you do it, the more, um, the better you'll become at it. Okay, I'm glad you talked about that, because there are some people that are of the school of thought, if I'm talented and I'm good and I know what I'm doing, I don't need education or I don't need to go... <laughs> What would you say to someone that's thinking of foregoing education or even a class at a community college or um, training? I, I think it's invaluable. Like, you, um, without that, you can you might be able to make it. Some people do, but I think the just the the contacts you make and um, the the confidence it gives you is mm -hmm. is something that's really important. Now, let's talk about your educational journey. Because did you go to a traditional high school or? No, I was homeschooled actually. Wow. All the way through, yeah. There <laughs> are there are students out there that are watching that are that are homeschooled. Mm -hmm. Talk to me about the pluses and minuses of, of homeschooling. Um, a plus is that it really helps you to um, develop study skills. Like you know, I, I didn't have teachers always telling me to do something, so I had to kind of you know make myself do it. Mm -hmm. um, but the, some of the negatives to it are, you know, you, you don't have as many friends, you're not as, you know, out there as much with, with others in sports and stuff like that. Mm -hmm. So the extracurricular stuff is, is a little bit more difficult to find and to, to do. But. Now, you go to Meredith. Mm -hmm. And what year are you? I'm a senior. You're a senior. Mm -hmm. So there are some people that are watching the show that are in college right now, and there are many that, that want to go. What would you say is one of the biggest challenges to being a college student? Um, discipline, probably. You know, there's always something else you could be doing besides studying. Mm -hmm. And I think, you know, making yourself sit down and, and do it and making good grades and, you know, just doing the actual work is, that's a big challenge. Now, how was your transition into Meredith? I actually went to a community college before, so I, I went to like a smaller school and then transferred to Meredith. And I think the stepping up, you know, from being in, never being in a like traditional classroom to being in the community college really helped um, me make that transition. Now, what went into your decision making in going to community college first? So did you do two years at a community mm -hmm. college and then transferred in? Yeah. Mm -hmm. oh, I mean, so many students that want to do that as well. Mm -hmm. Some of them are hesitant because they feel like they should just go into a four year and others are, what made you truly decide that you wanted to do community college first? Um, well, financially it was a lot, you know, mm -hmm. it helped a lot. Um, that was a big thing and also I just kind of, I wanted, I didn't want to make that big of an adjustment. I wasn't quite sure where I wanted to go. I didn't know who had the best program, so I just decided to do my first two years at a community college and get mm -hmm. that. Which one? Let's give them some, some I went credit. I to Alamance Community College. Great. 
Yeah. Wonderful. Mm -hmm. And so your transition in, it wasn't like a, a big leap because you had already been exposed to yeah. college level courses and so forth. Mm -hmm. Wonderful. Yeah, what, what do you enjoy most about college life? Because mm -hmm. a lot of high schoolers think that it's like high school. Yeah. And, you know, in high school you have to take certain courses. Mm -hmm. What do you enjoy most? Um, I enjoy that you can choose what you want to take. You can take stuff, you know, that, that interests you. Um, and the, the friends that I've made and um, also, like, the, the friendships I've made with the professors as well, they're, they're great, you know. Just one, they want the students to succeed and mm -hmm. that's, it's great to have them behind you. Wonderful. So talk to me now about the design side. What's your, your dream job or your, your goal five, ten years down the road? Where are we going to see you? What are you going to be doing? Well, I'm trying to start my own line right now. It's called oh. Dirt Rich, so I'm in the process oh. of that. I want to kind of have a, something out there before I graduate, so I'm working on that right now. And, and what would that style look like and, and what types of in your collection? Um, it's kind of an urban artsy style. Is it? Is it anything like what you're Similar wearing now? Yeah. Did you design anything wear. that you're wearing today? I didn't actually. And if she didn't, I'm going to like. <laughs> yeah. And and tell me why I'm going to tap your hand on this. Because I could have shown everybody what I make. <laughs> yeah. See, one of the the important things that even college students and adults need to know is that networking is really important. Mm -hmm. And whenever you have an opportunity to showcase your skills and your abilities, especially, you know, to, to the wide public, you have to utilize those those resources and those opportunities. So imagine if she would have come on today and you had on like this slam and dress or something, <laughs> then people would have been like, That's hey, true. where do I get that? And you would have said, this is mine. <laughs> right, audience? Right. That would have been like, let, let me. So next time we do an interview, I want you to wear something of your own. I will, for sure. <laughs> but I thank you so much for coming on Step thank into you. College. Thank you. It's been a pleasure. And good luck on that collection. <laughs>